Okay, this is going to be a training video for servers and bot tenders. We're going to go over the front end of the point of sale, Focus POS, how to clock in, uh, how the screen will look, where you can go to get different functions, find menu items and commands. So let's begin. To clock into the system, you'll either enter your access code and hit OK. And that will bring you to a screen where you can pick the job that you're going to be performing for that day. Uh, you would hit clock in if you have one job, or you'd pick the job first and then hit clock in. You can also clock in by hitting the time clock button, the blue button on the bottom of the number pad. You then enter your access code and hit OK, and it will bring you to the same screen. So I am going to go ahead and clock in. It'll ask you if you want to clock in. Hit yes. And now I'm clocked into the system. So now once you're clocked into the system, uh, you just come up to any screen. Uh, you hit your access code. You hit OK. And it brings you to the dashboard. So we're going to go through uh, ordering a, an item, starting a check, and uh, sending it to the kitchen. So Basically, when you're on the dashboard, this will have all your open checks when you have open checks. Uh, we're going to hit New to start a check. That brings you to the table screen. You can pick a table. It'll ask how many guests. You can either use the selected number. We have you know, a quick guess on the left-hand side here. So if I hit 4, it automatically uh, puts 4 guests in. You don't have to hit Enter. So that brings you to the menu. Um, you have bar, lunch, dinner. Depending on the restaurant, it might be laid out differently, but this is the navigation bar for the menu itself on the bottom. So if you're going to pick uh, an item like uh, if we go to uh, liquor, say Absolute Citron, you might have a pop-up that looks like this. So say drink, rocks, martini, Cosmo, you may have shot. Uh, this is the different price levels and pours for this uh, particular liquor. So depending on which pour you pick, you might have a different price. So we hit a martini. And it's going to ask me this. Ask me a position number for the person at the table. Uh, I will charge a martini price uh, for that item. If I pick uh, Absolute and Rocks, and I pick a person, it charges a different price. So it's very important to make sure when you're ordering uh, liquor, especially, that you pick the right pour to charge the right price, and also um, it records what pour you actually are. Uh, selecting so that for inventory purposes uh, it's easier to figure out the um, liquor usage. If I want to go to lunch, say I want to order a salad, um, I'm going to go to say a Caesar salad. I pick the person that's going to be take, getting that item. Now if you may have a screen that pops up automatically but if it does not because for speed or whatever other purpose you have the modify button at the top here so if I hit modify, uh, it's going to bring me into a screen of modifiers. You have different levels of modifier. These are the levels here in dark blue. I can then change the dressing, uh, select whatever other options I might need on the screen. So on the left-hand side here, if I pick a uh, modifier, it's the wrong one. I can hit the delete, delete button to undo it. Uh, I can hit the keyboard button. I can type in whatever modifier I want. Uh, if it's not on the screen already, I can hit a no make button here. And next to the, this column, we have commands that will affect the modifier. So say you wanted no uh, anchovies on that Caesar salad. You hit the word no first, then you hit anchovies, and on the screen you'll see no anchovies. Uh, if I wanted extra whatever, tomato, um, you hit extra first, hit tomato, and it'll charge the extra tomato price. So anytime you want to order something and you don't see no extra add in front of the modifier, you have to go on the left-hand side here, hit select the item that you want to affect these modifiers, and that's how it will come out on the screen. So I'll hit done here, go back to the menu. So if I'm done ordering, say, um, I just hit send here at the top and that will send the items to the kitchen and the bar. So we'll hit send and it will bring you back to the main screen. When I log back in, if you notice on the uh, screen now we have a check, it's in yellow, it means it's selected. 
Um, this is the dashboard. So from uh, when the check is selected yellow, I can do all these different functions to the check. I'm going to start another check just for fun so we can see what happens to the dashboard when there's more than one check on the screen. And uh, we'll order a few items. And we'll send that in. So I'll go back to the dashboard. Now I have two checks. So the way this works here is if I click on the check, it will turn yellow. If I wanted to, uh, say, order another round of drinks, I would select the two drinks and I hit repeat. Automatically adds on to the check. I can then go to this check. If I wanted to print the check, I can do it from here. Also, when it's highlighted yellow, uh, you can swipe the credit card and pay the check out uh, one shot. Or you can go to the, the double arrows down the bottom here and go to payments. And that will bring you right to the payment screen where you can pay the check to cash or some kind of credit card or gift card payment. So now also from the dashboard itself, uh, if I click the top of either of these checks, it'll actually bring me into the check. Again, um, ordering liquor. If the modifiers do not pop up, you can hit the modify button. It'll bring you to the liquor mods. Again, you have the add extra easy splash. So these might change depending on the screen of, of modifiers that pop up, what's needed. So these are more geared towards a liquor drink modification so I'm going to say I'm going to do um, a splash of Sierra Mist done so as you can see ordering items and sending things to the kitchen the bar uh, whatever prep printer is very simple in the system um, I'm going to now go over the top bar of commands uh, where you'll be performing functions on the check itself. So we went over send, send, uh, obviously sends the order to the prep printers. Print check, will print the check to the local printer of the terminal. It will also send anything that's not sent yet, which is shown by the printer next to the item, uh, will send it to the prep printer. So this Bacardi Rocks right now hasn't been sent yet. So I can't just print the check with this item on it without sending it. So that's what happens there. So dashboard, um, We'll bring it back to the dashboard. It will also send anything not sent yet. So if I click on dashboard, as you can see now on this check, uh, the printer is next to the Rocks Bacardi. So that was sent to the kitchen. I mean, actually to the bar. Um, again, when you're in the dashboard here, I can go between checks. So if I'm doing multiple things at once, I'm in this check. I want to order something quick. I then want to go back to the other check, click the top of the check. I can order something here, go back to the dashboard. So back and forth we go. Very simple, very nice feature, uh, helps with speed and uh, helps you keep track of your orders only. You only see your checks on the dashboard. The repeat button will repeat anything that's highlighted in blue. So if I do a round of drinks and I hit repeat, it does all the drinks, everything in one shot, uh, the way it was ordered. Hold uh, will put a little clock next to the items. So that means this, if I hit send, uh, it will, actually I'll go to dashboard and see what it does. So it keeps the clock next to the item. Uh, these items were not sent yet. The check itself will actually flash in red showing you that you have held items so you know there's something up with this check if it's flashing in red if I go back to the check and I have the items highlighted I can then go to fire and those will that anything highlighted will go back into the prep printer in the kitchen or bar you can deselect items and select just certain items to uh, send in. Uh, it's really uh, depending on what you need to send or not at the time. Uh, the delete button will undo anything you did that was not sent yet. So if I order some items here and I hit delete, it'll undo those items one by one. If you hit delete on an item that was sent, you'll get this message here saying you cannot uh, delete sent, voided, discounted, held, or split items. 
we'll skip functions for now. Um, we'll skip payments for now. Modify is, we went over this already. Basically, I hit the modify button only if I need to modify the item that is highlighted. If modifiers didn't pop up automatically for it. Send and stay will send this order into the kitchen or bar and keep you in the screen so you can keep ordering um, more items. So if you have, uh, say it's lunchtime and you want to get the drinks to the bar, maybe the appetizers in quick and then continue ordering uh, because people are in a hurry, uh, that would be something you might use send and stay for. Quit will kick you out of the check and back to the screen to log in. You'd have to re-log in if you quit. And we have edit tips, uh, which is going to be important when you run credit cards. Uh, the edit tip feature will basically bring up all your credit card charges that you personally ran uh, for transactions. You would highlight the charge, and then you'd hit edit tips down the bottom. It'll pop up with a screen that will show you, basically you can change the tip amount, which will change the total, or you can change the total, which will change the tip amount. Hit OK, and it gets saved. If you make a mistake, uh, you can hit All. All will show you all the transactions that you ran, and you can go and fix a tip that was maybe put in improperly by mistake, or maybe not put in at all. Uh, voucher will reprint that the original two copies of that credit card charge in case um, you ran a credit card and nothing printed out, say there was no paper in the printer or something else happened, or you, someone else just needs a copy of that uh, those two uh, slips, you would hit voucher to reprint those. So now we'll go over uh, how to use the functions command. Basically we log back in open a check say uh, and we go to functions at the top this will bring you to the functions that you will have available to you as a server or bartender so you have the void button uh, void would be basically for if say you had a payment on the screen say I did cash and I did uh, two dollars um, if you're allowed to void the cash you can hit cash and hit the functions void and that will take the payment off reopening the check so now the check is back open and I can pay to uh, anything else I want uh, you have split check which will basically you pick the items that you want to split off and you click anywhere in this black area and it starts another check so basically I have two different seats on the check at the bottom of the check you'll see the two different seats so if I hit done here uh, to go between the checks, you hit the two little dishes here at the bottom of the check, and that would be the seats on the check. Also, the check is basically split. Uh, you can also go to my other check, hit functions and split by position. So basically, these are the position numbers here. So the Polo Masala 1, Polo Agaragasta is 2. If I hit split by position, uh, I can select the positions I want to split and I can split them off so now I have two checks at the bottom and they basically split by the position numbers so next we have combine checks what combine checks will do is take two checks basically put them together so if I go into the dashboard and I want to hit New, I'm going to make a new check. Say table 32, two people. Uh, I order a couple beers. And I send it in. I can go back in. Uh, if I open table 50 and I go to functions, combine checks, I can pick the table 32 check. It'll ask me to combine check 9 with check 10, yes and now both checks are together so basically you want to pick the table that you want to combine from and then pick the table you going to combine to so basically all these um, items went on to table 32 uh, reprint check will actually bring up all the checks you had and um, 
you can reprint from here. So basically select the check, print down the bottom. If you hit detail in this area, uh, it will go back and forth between the number pad and uh, the actual check itself. So if you click the top part here, it will give you some information on the check, how what time it was open, what time it was closed, reopened, etc. If you click on the items, it will actually tell you what time the item was ordered and sent. So very important uh, if you have a dispute with the kitchen and they want to know what time that it was supposedly sent to them, you can actually come here and actually see what time the system sent it to the uh, prep printer. Back to functions. Uh, we have payments, which we'll go over in a bit. Discounts. These are all the discounts in the system. If you're allowed to discount, you can pick any of these discounts. Some you might be able to do or not do, depending on security. Uh, gratuity. is to, This is to actually put a gratuity on the check itself. You have to be in a check to use the gratuity function. Uh, so this is basically going to be adding whatever percentage onto the check that you select. This is not a tip it's a gratuity forced onto a check so you don't just add gratuity unless the uh, management allows you to add gratuity on transfer uh, there's different functions you can do just in transfer so this table 30 if I want to transfer it to another table I click the table and I tell it what table I want to put it on if I hit transfer and I want to go to send this check to a server say um, it's the end of the shift and you're going home and you want to transfer this check to another server, you hit server, you pick the other server and they will get that check. Combine. This will combine this check with another check, kind of like the combine checks feature, same thing. Items. If I pick an item on the screen and I want to transfer this item to another check, I hit transfer items and so that's me for security basically I will pick the other check that I want to send it to transfer the selected items yes and that item will go to the check and also bring you to that check so now we're on the check that was um, sent this item and that's right here also, um, at the bottom, you have transfer all. This basically will transfer all of your checks to another server. Uh, so if you have, again, end of the shift, you're going home, and um, you don't, just for whatever reason, you don't stay to close your checks for that day, uh, you can transfer all your checks to someone else. Uh, the next function is transfer combine. So what that will do is, if I start a new check, say table 40, with two people and I have a couple items on it. If I go to functions and I hit transfer combine, it will ask me what check I want to transfer and combine this check to. So if I click, pick uh, check 11, it'll ask me, it's just check 11, if I pick check 10, uh, it'll ask me if I want to combine these two checks together, yes, and it will then send all the items from the other check to this check. And if you go back to the screen, it will vacate that uh, table. Uh, so back in functions, you have uh, the column that says view checks. This will give you all your open checks, all your closed checks. If you close it to cash, it will show you just the cash checks. Close the credit. Uh, close the, show you the credit uh, card checks that you have so it's easy to find which checks were paid and how. Uh, your dashboard, I'll actually bring it back to the dashboard. This function could be anywhere. Edit tips we went over already. Reprint credit card slip. This will reprint uh, the credit card slip. Basically, the, it's more of an invoice, uh, not an invoice, a receipt. Um, that will show you the payment. So if you want an actual, the actual two slips, originally when you swipe the card, you'd have to go to edit tips and then pick the voucher so you select the payment hit voucher again that's how you reprint the actual two slips originally when the uh, credit card was swiped uh, we have then payment reapply that is used if you have a credit card that was used on the wrong check you or the manager would have to void the payment off the check that was uh, improperly paid 
and then you go to the new check. So I actually go to, let's see if I go to dashboard and I pick this check. If I go to functions, payment reapply, it'll bring up all the credit cards that I personally swiped uh, on checks and I can use a previously swiped check uh, credit card on this check so that the proper payment can be applied. Uh, open drawer is for the bartenders. Uh, bartenders will hit open drawer to open the, the cash tray. Checkout report is something that you will print at the end of your shift. So if you hit checkout report, uh, it should have your name next to the employee. Uh, if you have to print one from previous date, you can pick the date and time and all that fun stuff. But anyway, mainly you're just going to hit uh, print, and that's going to print out your report at the end of your shift. All your checks have to be closed. If I try now, it's going to tell me that the checkout report cannot be printed with open checks or missing tips. So... Once you close all your checks, adjust your tips, then you can come to the checkout report and print that and hand that in with your cash and credit card slips. Once that is then completed, um, you would go to the front end, hit your time clock, enter your code, and you would clock out. So to give you an idea what the checkout report will look like, uh, I'm going to log back in. So I have two checks left I have to pay. Um, I can either hit the down arrow and go to payments here. I can hit cash here. Uh, or I can click the top of the check again, and I would go to payments. Um, again, you have two checks here on this one table because uh, it's split by uh, person number. So if I want to pay the first one, uh, say go to cash. And uh, I have, it's $106, so we'll put in uh, $120. It gives you a change due and basically closes that check out. You still have to close the second check because um, it's separate. Um, if I had a Visa, I'd, I could pick Visa and swipe the card. Um, I can't swipe the card in the demo, so I am going to pay that to cash as well. I also have to pay out this check, so we'll go in payments. Uh, if you have a gift card, you would go to redeem gift card and you'd swipe the gift card here. But again, uh, you don't have a gift card, so I'm going to just go to cash and uh, put in $100. Ah, very important as well. Um, to split payments, uh, we have on the left hand side here, we have two ways, three ways, four ways, five ways, six ways. So if we're going to say I'm going to um, split this payment three ways, uh, it's going to cut that payment into three. I pay the first one and the payment will show down here. If I wanted to say do a MasterCard I can hit now it's two ways and I would swipe the card. We're going to do it in the cash here because we don't have a card to swipe. Uh, and then the last payment you don't have to hit any way uh, on the left hand side just it's the final amount because that's the balance due. You hit OK now this check is now paid. So to get into the area where you would print your checkout report, you have to hit new functions, checkout report. So I logged in as a manager to show you on the screen uh, what the checkout report will look like. You won't get it on the screen. You'll actually have yours printed out as a server So and as a bartender. So as we look down uh, the checkout report, you have a summary. You have average check, average guest, average time of table turn. Um, if you have any voids, discounts. And it gets into your sales and taxes. Then that would get into your net sales, um, tax breakout, total tax, total sales. If you have any paid outs or paid ins, uh, credit card tip fee if the uh, house does that. Uh, any refunds that you ran. So I'll give you a, a total accountable. That's your total amount that you owe the restaurant. Um, in the payment summary, you have gross cash. You'll have your paid outs. So that's a negative. Uh, that's money that came out of a cash tray, um, most likely. Servers don't have to usually deal with payouts. Credit card tip fee uh, is a negative, And your tips gratuity paid out is your credit card tips. So 
that will give you a net cash. So basically, it's gross cash minus paid outs minus credit card tip fee minus minus your credit card tips gives you net cash. You owe net cash. So there's always a dispute as to what people owe. It's net cash is what you owe because you're going to turn in your net cash and your credit card slips. And so the, your charges, your the restaurant will get the credit card tip money later on. They pay you now. So you have to take that money out of your cash. Total payments at the bottom is uh, all the payments that basically uh, will add up here. If you take Visa, MasterCard, America Express, gift cards, well, it's all in the total payments area. That should equal the um, total accountable. So that's the math there. Your payment detail will tell you exactly um, how much you ran in Visa, MasterCard, America Express, if you had a tip, and the total. Any other information down the bottom is detailed information, refunds, uh, open checks, and things like that. You won't have any open checks because you won't be able to print your report if you have open checks. Uh, but if you have the manager print your report for you, you have to make sure your open all your checks are closed because that's we'll come back to uh, get you later on <laughs> if you have open checks and you left. So that is an overview of how the front end of the POS works for servers. Um, bartenders would have slight difference in how things may flow. If you're not doing tables, uh, you would have bar tabs. So this is your bar tab screen. If you hit new, you can put someone's name on the uh, check or you can swipe a credit card if you're not using EMV. Um, basically same thing you order items and when you hit send it will send save the check bring you back to the tab screen if you I'll make another one so you can see how this works send so now all your bar tabs will be here in, in the, on a list in alphabetical order uh, if you have a whole screen of bar tabs it's hard to find something you can hit the buttons at the top alphabetical hit all to bring them all back there's also other filters here on the left, on the right hand side. If you want to look at just your tabs, like say you're working with another bartender and you're going back and forth on the register, um, if you're not accessing each other's tabs, so you get my tabs. All tabs will bring all the tabs up. Uh, you can also do server tables and look at the server tables if you have to transfer or if you're working on tables and bot tabs at the same time. Another cool feature is you can hit the search button down here. You hit the little keyboard. And if I type in, say, Ray, it'll bring just that bar tab up or any tab that has R-A-Y in it. So to access these uh, tabs, if I go back to all, I uh, just click on the tab, it brings me into the tab. If you uh, swipe the credit card on the tab to start the check, one, what will happen is you'll have the person's name, first name, last name at the top. It'll also show in the uh, bar tab area. Also, when you go to payments, um, if it finalized, say, Say you can't find the person to pay the check or they left, um, or you just want to pay the check with the credit card that's assigned to the check, you'd hit finalize and basically it will use the credit card that was swiped on the check to start the tab. So the nice thing about that feature is that you don't have to hold people's credit cards if you have a very busy bar and the policy of the restaurant is to hold a credit card to start a tab. The system will hold the credit card information. It doesn't charge the uh, person, not their card at all, just holds the information. And when you hit finalize, it will run the card for the amount due on the screen. And then you can do, go and adjust the uh, tip just like you did if you swipe the card. So the only difference is really with the bartender um, versus a server is the server has the dashboard if the dashboard is being used and something that the restaurant likes otherwise you just have tables um, and bartenders typically will use a tab system where you have a tab list or the tabs will be on the screen to access by name uh, and if they elect to they could also do tables as well but for the most part the main difference between ordering between a bartender and a server is that the bartenders may use uh, bar tabs. So this will conclude the front end training for servers and bartenders. 
Um, again, clocking out, you would use the time clock, enter your code, and then clock out. It will ask you to show you want to clock out, and then you declare your cash tips. And then I'll ask if, you're, if that's correct. You hit yes, and basically now you're clocked out of the system and uh, your shift is complete. Thank you for viewing our demonstration training video. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always call Posinet at 401-255-6522.